So hello guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Web3 address on Binance. So for you to do that, yeah, head over to your Binance app. If you don't have Binance, okay, I'm going to leave a link in this video description below. Make sure you click on it and create your Binance account and verify it. Then when you're done, so follow this process on how to create a Binance Web3 address, okay, on Binance. So what you're going to do, click on open up Binance. So here now, so this is exactly how you're going to do b then click on where it says access in your down below right hand corner as a click on assets when you click on assets then you are going to see um two options exchange and wallet so click on the second option you know click on the second option wallets when you click on wallets then here it is now it is time for us to create our you no know, create our um, Binance uh, Web3 wallet. So what you're going to do to create it, click on where it says create wallet, okay? Or if you have any previous Web3 wallet, click on import, import wallet, the second option. So, but if you don't have, just follow this video step-by-step -step process and create one for yourself. So what you're going to do, click on this um, create um, wallet. So once I done that, so I'll wait a little bit. So it's content once you get to 100%. So I start creating my web tree and Binance wallet. So here, once the thing counts up to 100%, so this is where it brings us where we're going to add our additional verification method required to protect your account. You need to add at least one more verification method, okay? So what we're going to do here is either we add a um, passkey or make use of our Google Authenticator. So I make use of passkey okay so whichever one you prefer but i'm going to be making a fast key so that you guys will understand it in detail so what i'm going to do is click on where it said pass key and when you select the option click on enabled okay click on enabled here when you click on enabled so you're going to bring you to another interface where you're going to create your pass key okay so here pass key biometrics login with that password okay so what we're going to do here is add our pass key here. So click on add pass key. So when you click on add pass key, then create, choose an authenticator. Enter verification code, okay? So I'm waiting for Binance to send me a verification code to my email. Okay, here. Here is uh, my Binance verification code. I'm going to copy it uh, here, okay? Once I copy it, I head over to Binance. I'm going to paste it here. Sorry, if I cannot paste this, it's like I cannot paste this. Okay, 570301. 570301, okay? So here, I wait a little bit, so by biometrics authentication. So I'm going to wait. So can you see that? So if you find this video helpful or got value from it, please make sure you do give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. So here I'm going to click on continue. So can you see that pass key successfully? As well? I've created my pass key successfully. Most verify using pass key for important scenario. So so here. What we're going to do when we have created our pass key, we have created our um what is it called? Our file and pass key, okay. Then let's click on this option wallet. Okay. When we click on wallet here, you can see it. then if you want to see your receiving wallet um, web three wallet address, okay, you can click on this option where it says receive, okay. Receive from Binance Exchange and get access from your Binance Sport and funding account. Okay, then this for it is when you want to receive from your um, Binance and main account funding or sports, whichever account that you want to receive, you want to transfer to your web um, web tree address. Okay, so the second option here is receive your address. You understand? This could be when you want to receive for like Estana and um, when you receive from Estana exchange like uh, Bybit. So when, when you want to, you know, send texting your web tree address where it's going to transfer your money to you. So you click on receive your address. Okay. 
when you click on receive your address here where it says create no create address you understand click on create understand now what you're going to do is to backup wallet to get address so what we're going to do is to click on backup wallet okay when we click on backup wallet then backup with google drive okay let's select the first one that recommended for us which is backup with google drive when we click on it okay okay this is it the recovering password okay then we choose the email that you want to we choose the gmail address that we want to use to back it up then i'm going to be making use of this one here so when i done that here because this is going to be so it's kind of loading so here it brings me to this session sign it to binance okay let me go click on continue then click on accept all and when i done that click on continue again from so the recovering password is used to encrypt and access your private keys okay and therefore your crypto asset finance cannot access or retrieve it keep your password safe okay so make sure you keep your password safe you write it down for somewhere you understand you will make sure you write it down for somewhere that you can remember so this is not um this is not a password that you can save or you can screen it's not a software that you can save on your phone or you can screenshot make sure you write it down on a note put it in a safe place okay so here let's create our recovery password i've imputed the password i want to make use as your recovery password click on continue when you click on continue can you see binance cannot access or Finance cannot access or retrieve it. Keep your password safe. Okay. So that's it. Just it. Make sure you keep your password safe. Write it down on a piece of paper or a note. Keep it where that is safe. Okay. Then when you've done that, click on I understand that Binance cannot recover encrypted recovering password. Okay. Then once you're done, I understand that if I lose or forget this password, I will not be able to restore or access my wallet. So that is basically it. You have to make sure that you write your password on a note and save it one place. You understand? So once you've done that, click on accept all this, then click on continue. Once you click on continue, can you see that encrypt? encrypting key share and backup is encrypting once it's once it's hundred percent okay so it's is it's still on 999 percent so let's wait to get to hundred percent so yeah so here we have set up our recovering password okay here it says enter your recovering password then the password that you created Make sure that you created, make sure you put it here again. Okay, don't forget. And when you don't die, click on continue. Boom, back up successfully. Your wallet has been back up. Please keep your recovering password safe and secured. Okay, then boom, that is just how it works. So here, then when we have finished creating our recovering password, okay. Let's go back to receive and check whether we have created our you know address okay so let's go back to receive again go back to okay receive via address okay then boom this is our address so we have created so we have so many addresses here so we have a bitcoin address bitcoin address we have bnb that is bnb chain address we have all oh, this one my obnb address so we have a lot of them here we have a lot of addresses here we have created just a click so guys so that is how to create a web3 wallet address okay that is how to create a web3 wallet address this is a, the easiest way to create a web3 wireless address so if you find this video helpful or you got value from it please make sure you give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon so that you really first to get notified each time i drop a new video just like this one see you in my next video bye <laughs>